Well, let's turn now to Chris Vermeulen. He's the founder and chief market strategist of the technicaltraders.com for market outlook and more. Chris, always great chatting with you. So we were just hearing from Brian talking about really kind of the dispute and, and the disagreement between the Treasury and the Fed. So seeming to be two trains of thought here, one from Mnuchin, that everything's going to be OK, going to be getting much better, and, and one from Fed Chair Powell, which is essentially that risks do still remain um, and the economy does need support. I'm wondering how you're perceiving some of those differences um, and, and how you think it's going to be impacting or perhaps shaping any kind of policy going forward. Yeah, I, you know, Mutin thinks, you know, we don't really need a whole lot of stimulus where Powell is thinking, you know, we do, we need quite a bit more. And uh, I, I think we're under the, the assumption that we do need more. I mean, this economy is, is struggling. And when you step back and you actually look at what's going on, this whole economy right now seems to be driven by the Fed, the government policies. And it's really kind of pumping money through the system, through businesses and keeping things going. And, you know, we haven't had a stimulus plan in a while. And I think people are in dire need of getting one of these plans in place. The problem is uh, we've got a mixed house, so it's going to be really tough to get anything passed. And it could take a long time. And it's already been a painfully long time. People were expecting and hoping for something pre-election. And, and, and I think we're still a long ways out from getting some type of plan. So when you look at what's going on right now, we really need these parties to come together, come to some type of uh, conclusion that they can both agree on and get some type of stimulus plan out, because this is something we definitely need to see. And, uh, you know, in order to keep the, this economy rolling forward, we don't want to see it stall because that will be a really bad thing. That The stock market could collapse. We could see a lot of bad things happen. And uh, Powell was saying today that he really would like the banks to come together and work with the borrowers of business loans and mortgages because there's obviously no stimulus plan yet and people are in dire need to, to not you know, have those default but to just have relief and potentially roll them forward uh, to help them out until stimulus gets passed. So, Chris, looking over at the market, as I mentioned, we saw some record highs. The Dow had been over a 30,000 level a little bit earlier today, up over 1%. I'm wondering if you see euphoria. I see that word being tossed around in a couple of headlines out there. If you think there's a bit of euphoria in this market and if you think that this optimism is a little bit overblown. I do. I wrote about it on the blog, my blog the other day, talking about we're in an excess phase where everyone is in this euphoric mode. People are buying stocks left, right and center. We're in a bull market for everything, real estate, stocks, uh, you know, everything just keeps going up. And it feels like we're in this euphoric stage. Uh, overall, if you take a look at what's been going on with the price of bonds and precious metals, uh, bonds have been moving up the last two and a half weeks. They're getting above the 50 day moving average. From a technical standpoint, we haven't seen this since early this year, and they're starting to actually perform very well. And that's a sign that big money is shifting and getting very defensive. We saw this happen back in January, where uh, bonds actually started to outperform the stock market, even though the stock market was rallying. And today we're seeing metals and miners really start to take off, and, and they've pulled back to a really critical technical support level. And with both of these sectors, these asset classes moving sharply higher, I think that's a sign that big smart money is getting defensive because it does feel like we're in these lofty overvalued stocks. It, the reality is COVID is still here. Businesses are struggling more now than ever, other than some technology companies. Uh, sure, it looks great. There's a vaccine. The horizon looks good, but we're not going to make it to that horizon without going through wave two. And another quarter of shutdowns for most businesses is going to be extremely tough. All right. Wish I had more time to chat with you here. Chris Vermeulen, founder and chief market strategist of thetechnicaltraders.com. Thank you so much for joining us Thanks, today. Thanks, Kristen.